All right, looking at properties of quadratic functions. So quadratic equation, we've been talking about quadratic equations. They're in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot equal 0. The graph of it is a parabola, OK? When a is greater than 0, meaning a is a positive number, the parabola will open upward. It will, it will basically smile at you. Okay, when, oh, I should put that over here because that's positive. When A is less than zero, meaning A is negative, it won't smile, it will frown, okay? So we have a positive, positive coefficient of A, and we have a negative. The vertex is the turning point of the graph and it occurs either at a maximum or a minimum point. So if we have A is positive, this vertex right here would be the minimum point. You see why? Because it's the smallest point. Whereas if A is negative, this vertex would be a maximum point. Okay? The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that passes through the vertex and just like it sounds, it creates the symmetry. So there's a line. It's not part of the graph, but right here, this is the axis of symmetry that cuts the parabola in half. Same thing here on the positive. The x-intercepts occur on the graph when they touch the x-axis, and this always happens where y equals 0. So y equals 0 is the equation of the x-axis. Okay, y equals zero is the equation of the x-axis, equation of the x-axis. The y-intercept occurs when the graph cross crosses the y-axis. This occurs when x equals zero because x equals zero is the equation of the y-axis. That's what x equals zero is, right? When we were, remember when we were graphing, we had vertical lines, horizontal lines. Okay, so we get into a few little story problems here. A toy rocket is shot into the air at a speed of 48 feet per second. Its height after x seconds is given by h of x, which is equal to negative 16 x squared plus 48 x. Okay, so this is the graph here. The fact that there is the exponent of 2 makes it a quadratic, and that's why you're going to have this pattern. Now, you all know this because everybody has played some kind of sport where you've thrown something up into the air. It creates that parabola shape, okay? So here they're saying, here's the seconds after it's shot, and here's the height above the ground, Okay, it shot into the air. So it started out on the ground. How do I know it started out on the ground? Well, because at zero seconds, it's zero feet above the ground, right? It climbs up after how many seconds does it reach its maximum point on the graph? Yeah, 1.5 seconds, it reaches a maximum height of 36. We call this point the vertex. Okay, that's how many seconds, and this is how many corresponding feet, 36 feet. And then what happens is it turns around, it, gravity forces it to come back down to the ground. How long did it take to get to the ground? Three seconds. So these are all the questions. Does the parabola open upward or downward? Well, we can see that it opens downward, but it also opens downward because since a equals negative 16, it opens downward. So you see that negative coefficient of x squared. Whenever a is a negative, the parabola is going to open downward. What is the maximum height? When does it occur? What's the maximum height? When does it occur? Yes, the maximum height is 36 what are we measuring it in? Feet. It occurs after 1.5 seconds. What is the x-intercept? 
X intercept. Anyone? Oh, X actually X intercepts. How many are there? Two, because two times it hits the X axis. So the X intercepts are zero, zero, and what else? Three, zero. What is the Y intercept? What do you think about that one? Zero, 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 zero. And actually, anytime you have the point zero, zero, that's an X intercept and a Y intercept, right? Because that's where X and Y intercept each other. Okay. State the domain and the range. So the domain is the X values. Now, the domain of the function is a little bit different than the domain of the actual word problem. So we're talking about it in the context of the set of the context of the situation. So when does the rocket get shot? It gets shot at zero. Yep, zero seconds. And I'm including zero. Okay, the domain, sorry. And then all the way until when does it land on the ground? Three. And we'll include that as well. What about the range? Anyone? Well, it starts out at zero above the ground, right? So it starts also at zero. That's its smallest. It's going up to a maximum height of 36. Okay, because again, the range is going to be here. Range, oops, trying to write vertically. It's hard. And then domain goes from here to here, right? Okay, label the vertex axis of symmetry and intercepts. Vertex is this maximum. I pretty much already did label it. Okay, vertex is, well, it has these points already. The axis of symmetry goes through the vertex. So who can tell me what is the equation of this vertical line here, the axis of symmetry? So it's actually x equals 1.5 because notice that x value is 1.5 so the axis of symmetry is always going to be that x value because it always has to be a vertical line that's going through and the important thing about the axis of symmetry is what is happening is the parabola is symmetrical so you notice that you have these points over here one and two are one unit away and they're both at a height of 32. So if I were to ask you at what time did the rocket reach a height of 32 or was at a height of 32, what would you say? Yeah, solve, oops, solve f or h of x equals 32 you would say, that's just, this is another question that I'm adding in. It's not this question. Here's the intercepts. Okay, intercepts here, intercepts here. But I'm just saying, like, if you were to sol ask a different question, when is it, when is the rocket at a height of 32? Is solve for h of x equals 32? And our solution would be 1 and 2. Okay, so that would mean that after one second, or at one second and at two seconds, the rocket is at a height of 32. Yes, questions, any questions, concerns? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. no, 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 sorry. This is H of X, H of X, meaning that the question could be at what time is the height 32 feet? And then your answer would be at one second and two seconds, right? The height is 32 feet above the ground, the height of the rocket. Is that making sense so far? Okay. Let's go on to the next page. Thinking about reviewing this idea of squaring numbers, okay? So what happens when you square negative three? And how do I know I'm exactly squaring negative three here? Yes, it's in parentheses. Okay, so what negative three times negative three is nine. 
What about this one? This one doesn't have parentheses around the negative. What does that mean that it doesn't have parentheses around the negative? Yes, so the negative is not being squared. So this is what? Negative 9. Because that negative is not in parentheses, that's going to be a negative. Now, what about this? Negative, negative 3 squared. The order of, op this is basically the same thing as saying negative 1 times negative 3 squared. You see why that's the same? So a lot of times you see negative, negative, you make a positive. But here, we want to square first. So squaring negative 3 gives us 9. Now we want to make it negative, negative 9. This is all important because when we, when we have this parabola, the whole reason why we get symmetry is because when we square a negative, we get a positive. So this is like having x squared. And both of these are like having negative x squared, okay? This negative is not included in that squaring, which is the reason why we get the parabola turning upside down, because we take all those values, we square them, and then we make them negative. Okay, so let's do an example here. One way, and this is the same way we learned how to first graph um, linear equations. One way to graph anything is to make a table of values. So when you do a table of values, you have y equals, we're plugging in negative 2 squared minus 6 times negative 2 plus 8. So we're going to do all that math on our calculator or by hand. And I'm just going to use a calculator for time's sake. So what do we get? If we take, now it's really important to put that negative in parentheses. So negative 2 squared minus 6 times negative 2. And on most calculators, there's a difference between the negative sign and the subtraction sign. So you have to be careful of that. Plus 8, and we get 24, right? Is that what you got? 24, okay, good. And then we're going to plug in negative 1. So we have negative 1 squared minus 6 times negative 1 plus 8. And what do you get for that? Negative 1 squared is 1 plus 6, 7 plus 8, 15. Actually, I was supposed to do an ordered pair here, right? Negative 1, okay, here we go. There's my ordered pair. On the last one, I'll fix it. Negative 2, 24. This is negative 2, 24. Okay? When we plug in 0, oh, 0 is really easy. 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 8. What's left? 8. So 0, 8. Plug in 1. 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 8 is... 1 minus negative 5, negative 5 plus 8 is 3. Did you guys get 3? Is anyone plugging it in? Okay, I'll let you try getting those values. 6 times 2. And here again, I'll use the calculator. So 4 minus 12 plus 8 is 0, 0, comma, oops, 2, comma, 0 for this one here, right? And then 3, 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8. 3 squared is 9. 6 times 3 is 18, minus 18 plus 8 is negative 1. Wait a second. Is that what you got? Okay. 3, negative 1. Oh yeah, I see the symmetry happening. Here's 4 squared minus 6 times 4 plus 8. 4 squared is 16 minus 24. That will really mess things up. 24 plus 8. And I need to delete Plus eight. Does everybody see where I'm getting these numbers from? Four, zero. Okay. 
Now, before I even plug in five, can anyone, you're starting to see a pattern with these numbers where you could predict, could anyone predict what five is going to be? Five and, so you see what's going to happen is, okay, let's just plot these for right now. So we had negative two which is over here, so we don't actually even have that one to graph. On the window that we're seeing here, we can start with negative one, actually can't even graph x, y equals 15. So zero eight, zero eight is here. 